And then I've just, I just started taking people and I just never stopped. That's basically how shit's going is I just steal everybody. Moose has got food poisoning, but I don't think I can like make him lay down or anything. No, he doesn't want to lay down. But yeah, I'm trying to get those original colonists, those like 21 people to the off-world flag and see what that's all about and stuff. Because I've never had an opportunity to go to one. It's always been like on an ice sheet or something because mine has always been, hold on, always been like up on like uh, this thing. Always. And like you can throw transport pods like a certain distance, but I think that's on the borderline like that maybe. The edge there. If I had to get up here, like this is an ice sheet, right? This is sea ice too. So it's granite slate sandstone, permanent ice, sheets floating on water, there's no soil, plants to grow, minerals to mine, almost no animal life. So basically there's no food, no animals, I can't keep my animals alive, I would need so much like food in advance to go into a place like that. And then the off-world battle and stuff, oh shit, man we rotated then, hold up, sorry. Sorry if anybody's getting sick with this, I don't rotate the map around that much, where is this flag? Uh, it's down here somewhere. I need this thing to like rotate back into a direction I recognize. Hold on. <laughs> it's making me like nauseous. I hate this thing. Um, apparently when I take on the landed ship quest, there should be like waves of enemies non-stop. Um, once I activate the ship or once I arrive on the location. I don't know which. So I'm going to try two different end game playthroughs. So I'm going to have like a location somewhere nearby. And be like, this is my second last location. Then we're going to take everybody to the off-world flag thing, right? And we're going to go and see how that goes. If that's absolutely just kills us from the get-go and we never get off the, the planet and everybody dies and shit, I will try loading back to my previous save at like the next nearest location, which was like our last base. And then I'll fortify the shit out of that and try building a spaceship at my like location and defend that because like you can build it. I haven't researched it yet but I've got like part of it they've started researching. It requires a fair bit of resources but I just know that when I started building it the first time I ever built one immediately just waves of attacks and like here like we haven't had too bad attacks but when we do get attacked, like a decent group, we get like three times 75 people. So it's it's a big fucking deal. Or we get mechs and that's a goddamn problem. So that is always an issue. I also generally like never also used to use the uh, shelving and stuff. Apparently uh, a lot of people just literally couldn't with my floor storage everywhere. And I'm like, okay, okay, I'll put up some like benches and shit. It, it doesn't seem to have any problem. The only problem is like the panthers won't actually store stuff on the shelves. They just still put it on the ground. So I still need like an allowance of floor space for my panthers to bring fresh food in um, before my people can actually like put that somewhere. <coughs> Sorry. But um, we haven't exactly had like an abundance of food. Like this is up to 63%. Like some of it's growing. Like this is looking pretty grown. My rats look like they've been snacking in here, little fat bastards. Look at them. Yep. You guys have eaten, now you've passed out, living the luxury life on rice right now. Now, if my people actually want to harvest that, I've got like 40 odd people that can go and like do harvesting at any given time. So hopefully we can get some out of that. So yeah, previously I had people set my grow room on fire. I had a cold snap. I had a, a huge raid. We had wargs. We had mech battles. We had psychic emanators and all sorts of stuff just mayhem so it's it's been something now they've got these two hey super new welcome in good morning um we've finally brought the uh the drug leaves down for my animals to eat but they're like almost deteriorated because they've been outside this whole time i could just move them inside and they might last a little bit longer but i do think my animals might actually eat them before then I bought these because I, I don't have those growing yet. My concern is that my, like, my people aren't going to eat those. I don't have to worry about that. My concern with it is that um, I'll grow a crop and like my animals will just like constantly nom on it. Like when it comes around to spring, oh, I found a cat snacking on an egg. Protein. Um, 
when it comes to springtime, this should completely... Oh, wow. This will this will grow out nicely. If I can get my harvesters out here right now, I have a massive amount of crop available to harvest. And I know that my animals are getting full. They're not destroying it all really quickly. I took a really high gamble in winter and decided to plant out all this. This should have wiped out. This should not have grown at all, but it did. And because of it, we now finally have a food source. What day are we on? The 11th of December. We have four days left of winter. I can't even believe that. We have four days left of winter. We might make it out of winter. I say that so excited and we'll probably get like some kind of horrible fucking attack. Because that's how everything's been going. Oh, uh, Gat ended up getting the fucking flu. Poor Gat, hey. He like went down. We neglected him when he got beaten up by the wargs. I forgot about him. He had four hours to live. I got him to hospital. I fixed him up. Hedgehog's now back in a fucking psychotic state. Are you... Did you eat? Yes. Okay. He ate between his psychotic states. Good man. Um, yeah, poor Gat. Now he's got like an extreme flu. There's a good chance he might just die from that. I'm not too worried if he does. It would be still a shame. Any colonist death here is still a shame. He's a cook too. So I don't really want to lose that. But uh, it's it's still not the worst one. I had to pull up so much of my flooring and stuff like that so we'd have metal to make our, um, oh, what do you call it? The geothermal power and stuff. Uh, you've got inspired mood. Nice. All right, what else do we need to do? Make a proper, proper animal area with a fridge. Yeah, but I also haven't ended up putting down any of the solar. We've got some. Who's medical imagination? It's still GAT. It's looking like Gat might die. Seahorses in a daze, that's fine. Let's build a couple more of these up. More wind power. Because like it doesn't always kind of work. Like it's a really low energy one. I've got a lot of solar I've now made. I think it was three. There we go. I'm gonna buff out this side with it. Oh no, you don't, Calum. You ate kibble and now what? You're going to you're gonna murder people, right? Yeah. You can take on Mole and Tomboy and stuff. Also, if somebody goes berserk, like psychotic here, like in a really bad way, essentially I just put them in hospital. <laughs> so either go to hospital, or they go to prison, or they go to hospital in prison. That's what's gonna to happen to Caleb because he looks like he wants to kill Farrell. Sadistic rage is usually where he'll take it out on prisoners. And if he makes it to Farrell, Farrell will get hurt. These two are my colonists. They are in prison for various, I don't know, just being annoying. Um, can I get you to just put him back into bed? Uh, I wonder if I have a spare spine, actually. I know that you're fighting that, but heart and spine. Yeah, put him back into bed. This was both my prison before winter and I just had to utilize the like excellent quality and like masterwork beds and stuff like that that I have um for winter because last time when I played through all of winter and we saw what happened with like colony wide death oh yeah we have an ad happening at the moment unfortunately be enough time to grab a drink or go to loo or something but uh it's only once an hour um yeah with the colony wide death aspect I'm like let's Let's give them as much hospital as possible. And we ended up having both filled up entirely and people in their own beds. And it was just an issue. I like how Roll has like pink hair. I bet that's probably why it took you. Basically, if somebody has like colored hair or something, I will steal them. Like I will go out of my way to steal that person. Yeah, Gat's ping in like constant. Where's the fire? Okay, natural fire for once. That is nice. Go wildlife. There is all kinds of food wandering in. And I noticed that my rat population is now finally happening. Have a look at that auto slaughter thing that I've got up for the rats. We have female adults. I, do, I will need to cull like a certain level of like offspring, but not yet. Not till we've hit this. Not until we start capping this and then I'll start worrying about it. Because I had to kind of like, I had to dial back everybody's... Um, the animal numbers and stuff just be able to make do i would also like to get more lighting in this place we have been running with like the bare minimum lighting 
I also have not had like a lot of the workbenches I want to get. I would like to be able to like have art and all sorts of stuff. Crafting, holy shit, I can get all of this. I need my um, need my harvesters. Oh no, you don't, ginseng. All this has come up. A lot of it's ready. 65% grown. Nice. Okay, I will deal with ginseng. I'm going to get Jailbreaker for a bit. You are probably going to succeed there, actually. Um, because you're that close to it. Hold on. I'm going to have to attack. But if you can try to arrest the others... Uh, Beaver, I need you to be helping with this. I need you to stop them at the door. This is going to be interesting. I don't really want to arrest Jinseng, but it might be the only way to stop her from jailbreaking unless beaver no 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 you three do not stand still i need just to walk down here and help stop she's gonna get to the door 100 percent jailbreak's happening mm, no 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 bike okay you're outdoors beaver can you arrest you've got a little less chance can you come and hit her too i think she has to be about in here before it's actual She's berserk now. Okay. Uh, attack anyone he sees. All right. But, Pacho, can I... Does not require tending? Okay. I'll keep an eye on that. I don't want you guys to kill him. I just want you to... I guess we can't arrest you at this point. There's a very small chance he's going to die doing this. Make us off revenge. Hold up. I've got extra people coming in for this fight. Let's just make us off. Burr might have made a mistake. Let's get you back inside, yeah? Mush should be able to do enough of a hit. Yeah. Not bleeding out enough. You two might be able to help. Silverware would be better off if she can come up. There's a small chance that, um... Oh, what's-his-face is going to die. I need you to, like, hit that. There's a small chance that Jinseng might die... Bye, Cal. No. We spoke about this. Walk over there. If you can't... Fucking hell. Bye, Cal. Mate. You don't use your gun. wonder whereabouts it's saved. Because that's like... That had to be like seconds ago. I don't have a look. I need to see if that's like before or after he went berserk. Because if it's before he went berserk, I'll take that. It just means that um, the Megasoft's probably still going to revenge. So the thing with RimWorld I've noticed is that if you save and reload an event, the ch the event changes generally. Okay. I could probably change this enough to say, do not shoot him. Okay. Beaver is up close. That should be enough to stop him. There we go. <laughs> okay. Ginseng's now down. Smallest fucking change. Your health, you're fine. Let's get Legrand to rescue you. You need to... No, no, no. You're not playing. You can go and lay down in hospital. Okay. Now up here, fur, I need silverware. Probably to come and help. Come on, I need you to come and bring your gun up here. Oh man, that thing is fast. Silverware, maybe just walk outside. You two, can you come back? And help just punch this thing. Because once it reaches Marsh... We're not going to have much choice there. Alright, keep moving. There we go. Okay. If you can come back and attack, I'm going to release you because you'll do a better shot doing that. Move out of the way, mate. How many birds coming up to? Cool. So that's like, that's basically both cases of like, that being a better outcome. Is we didn't accidentally kill this guy because I had a chance to stop the guy that had the gun. Uh, where are you going? In restraints. I don't think they got to Jailbreaker. I just want to keep an eye on Farrell getting at this door, but I think we're fine for Jailbreaker. Because it normally would come up with saying, oh, um, they're now hiding in their room or something like that. But that's not what happened. Basically, I just want to make sure Farrell can't walk out the door, which I don't think, I don't think she can. No. Okay, she's good. Uh, Calum is like bleeding a little bit in here. You've got carcinoma. Do I have a spare spine? Maybe. I 
do? How useful are you to me? I know you're in prison. What's your health situation with that going? You still got entitled to health, so this isn't the worst case scenario. Hold up. Uh, you don't have... Very unfortunate. If you had something like cooking, animals, and intellect, or something, like you've got social and you've got intellect and stuff, but you're not like a primary speaker and you're not like a cook or somebody really important. If they had like just something like maybe plants or animals or cooking or construction really high, I would go out of my way to make sure that they got that spine, but they will um, unfortunately have to live with what they have. And those will stay spare for somebody else. Who's on the extreme break list? A few people. There's only like five at the extreme break list. And they're mostly people that got food poisoning. So that's not the worst. And nobody's actively starving. Fantastic. That's that's pretty good. We're on day like 11th of out of 15 in winter, right? And nobody's starving. My cat Azula is upside down in her donut bed. That's also outstanding. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just patting her off to the side here. She's being really cute. Um, Phoenix is in here, I think. He's either in here or he's not. I, I don't know. I can't see. He has this thing where he sleeps directly behind my chair. So I can't actually see him unless I go to stand up, in which case I end up usually putting a foot down right next to where he is asleep because I, like, sit cross-legged at the computer. So... Like my feet are up out of the way because otherwise if they're down on the ground i've got a couple of things so either a it's australia so giant spiders roaming wild and free right that could happen to my foot at any time the other thing too is that phoenix likes to like i don't know i guess roll his face non-stop in my feet so there's that too so i'm sitting here minding my own business next thing i don't know if it's a phoenix or a spider on my foot you know it's concerning, so I just opt for the no feet down business. That works pretty good for me, I believe. And somebody's out here getting the uh, Ibex rams. Do I have more? No. I don't think they ever got... Oh, they got down here on their planet a little bit. The other thing I noticed that they changed, I don't know if it used to be like this, but they did change where you can see the size of a growing area and the amount of, like, plants and stuff that have been planted and stuff like you can see so much information. By the way, we're now in warm enough, like, area that growing is kicking off. Now that we have all of this, which, by the way, I need another little grow room down here. Because we had one down here and I had to get rid of it. But it's super, super fertile. It's got, like, ultra green. So I want to get... I was going to lull with the chocolates on this one. Because <laughs> um, we had, like, a big chocolate harvest in the last place. And I didn't end up noticing, I think it was like 240,000 chocolates or something we ended up moving with. You're right, Azula, you're stuck. Hold on. Azula's stuck in a donut. There we go. Um, Just like the, the way that the donut is designed, it's like, it's fluffy and it's quite possible for her to like hook in her claws and get stuck every so often. It happens. Um, I'm gonna guess that, that rhino is mine. I should be able to get this grow room online and if it's, when it hits spring... I'm going to crack open this ancient danger and see what's in here. There's either going to be people or bugs or or um, mechs. Mechs would be the worst. Oh, ginseng starving. Are you... You're unconscious. Yeah, incapacitated. Nice. Our only person starving is somebody that's actively incapacitated that can't be fed or eat. Now, I want to fix this shit up, right? This is going to be a bit of a problem because of the shape of it. I would actually like to have like a couple of shapes out here or maybe like one specifically larger one but I want to keep it on the areas that I can't build on. I not that. Where's the other one? Fertility one. There. See where the area that doesn't have any green on it at all is? I want to like build on that in here. But I also want to keep it a nice enough shape because I'm trying to build this out nicely. I will eventually like move these over a little bit too. Like I said, I was waiting to be able to harvest this crop up here, which we should now be doing soon. And then I'll be able to grow this area, like move more beds and stuff over. And I am working with water pumps. I don't believe that we're going to completely get this area dry because it is a water source. But I want to put in some effort and see if I could dry it enough to make a corner building here 
Um, I might still need to bridge that, not sure, but we'll see. This one's kind of working. Some of them are getting there. I should be able to remove the bridge underneath. When that happens, I should have fertile land that I can grow on, hopefully, unless it's like this, which I don't think it is. It had to be like muddy area for me to do a bridging bit. Um, what else we got? Around the place. What is that? Compacted machinery. I could get components out of that. I don't super need them. I'm just going for a quick run around and have a look. Because what the hell? They made a bridge? Okay, hold on. That does not need to be out there. I love when I like... I don't think that that's my structure either. I think that might have already existed. And I had them out here mining silver which they've done a pretty good job. I'm expecting if I get battles and ship, maybe to land here, but there should be some aspect of roof to that. Yeah, that's an undercover. But once we get all this connected, how is my electricity out here? So I have these connected as like a daisy chain, but I don't really want that. I want some kind of level of hidden electricity, but I also want it to be outside of the radius of this. And originally I was going to keep it down along lines, which I also need to move these over, I think, just a little bit too, because I put them in the wrong spot to begin with, but we'll see. I'll measure all that shit out before I move anything. But um, I don't want the power to be blow upable. I do want it to go down along the fence where it's supposed to be. Actually, I don't know if I was doing hidden fence there. I might leave that one still there. Oh, that's the other thing too, is you can do hidden uh, power conduit. So you can put a, a row of electricity out in the open and it's not an ugly wire just like going across the, the world. So that's another thing. I will also have to divide up my power source eventually because at the moment I've got all power on one grid and I intended this to be on four. But the little kind of issue I've got is if it's cutting up through the middle like this, this one's going to have two geothermals on this side. That's going to have one. It's going to have a fuck ton of solar. Like that might be enough to counteract the two sides being about equal actually, to be fair. Um, the turrets may have power issues on the bottom part. Over here they definitely will. I will need additional power of some kind over here. Then what do we got up here? This one's got geothermal. And that's the only one it's got. This side doesn't have one that I'm aware of. So this is a bit of a problem. I would have to do so much solar. I would have to do additional solar up the top or something to make the side work because I'm doing like a lot of like the cooking things from it, but not much else. Um, I do have the turrets though. That is a little bit of a downside. I will also make more turrets eventually and I wanted to make these bedrooms but I will make them into grow rooms like seasonal all year round grow rooms like I might still do um springtime like huge harvests like this and like monopolize the land that I have it does mean that the animals don't have access to food natural growing food in that time frame but what it does mean is that we can have a huge bounty of food every summer as long as my crops don't catch fire or we don't get a cold snap or something. But this would be enough to tip over our growing production massively every year. So I'm not going to worry too much about getting the electricity out here because I'm not quite sure yet. Like I, I definitely want the electricity going down this right along the fence and stuff because that's going to let me do stuff. I do want to fix up this upper wall. A little bit so that maybe I have like another patch of fence or another fucking door or something because this section here is very far they either have to go through this door or this fence they cannot walk through this so if we get a battle I would expect a battle to arrive up here because it is the most defended spot I don't have active turrets working and it takes a long time for my people to get around it at the moment, a lot of my battles should come from the beach because it's pretty barren out there. But if I can, if it's warm enough now, if it's like tw oh, it's six degrees outdoors, I should be able to say if I could find all of my fireplaces around the place, 
It shouldn't be too hard. Grab you lot. I think that's all the ones up there. And I don't think I've got any down the bottom. I got rid of a lot of my fireplaces because we didn't have fuel. Turn off the automatic fuel. I will leave it as gathering spots for a moment. That should be fine. So nobody should refuel them. The only problem is like maybe this grow room's temperature. It's 11 degrees. It's still growing though. And it's power's off for the moment, but that's fine. It's off resting. Okay. I'm hoping by next winter I can have electric heaters in here. We tried, but we had to scrap the electricity for the geothermals that my people get destroying, which is why those are enclosed now. We can't have nice things. Um, eventually we'll get floors too. I have still got 4,000 in floors. I don't want to chuck all the metal down in the floors until I actually have surplus. But I wish I had floors in here. This is also supposed to be storage as well. So maybe I can work with that. I have a lot of spare storage at the moment. What do I want? I want the mining one. So get rid of this section here. Because this is kind of in my way. Once I get rid of that and that one. I should be able to get rid of all those because I've got... I've got my um, pillars inside the, the columns. This also needs to go too. It's just hanging out outside. It needs to go. Alright. So we'll get some of that fixed up. I would like to bring more lights in as I said. I know the new light system and shit like that is like those little ones that go on the wall. I actually do like the old lights and I had a feeling that maybe there was a difference in power usage or metal. It uses a little bit less metal to make a wall light. But like, I still like my standing lights because I used to play with the colours. The other thing too, for anybody that hasn't seen this, is you can play with the overall colours, which I actually am not a huge fan of. It's nice that you can have like full customised colours and shit, but I used to like mixing the multiple lights to make a colour. You know when you used to get like your, you know, your reds and blues to make a purple or something like that, or like a, a green and a, um, green and a blue to make like a really nice like cyan and stuff like you used to be able to make some good like additional colors from it you can't well you can do that now but you can't do that from like merging extra lights and stuff and the wall lights i just don't quite know what to do with them yet i'm guessing if i've got the spare kind of metal to do this they also show like a proper light radius can i there we go i want them to be on the ends of these things there now I know I'm probably going to need one in the center of the room, okay, but we'll get to that. I've got like one at the moment and I do need to move that and I do need to rotate this but I need to rebuild it so I don't want to rotate it yet. But these will do, if I can click on them, that's the other thing too, they are a little bit difficult to click on. This won't do absolute light but we will get light in here. Now as for the other room, I'm not really sure yet. What did I do up the top? So we had a uh, tantrum. Mel's having a tantrum because missing tongue. Oh, you might. Oh, your jaw's been shot off. Do I have a denture? I don't have much in the way of like, yeah, I, I can get you a denture so you can eat. That'll be pissing you off. Um, I don't have. I really don't have prosthetic production at the moment. So unfortunately a denture will get him able to eat, maybe talk, because he's on 10% eating so he'd be pretty like unhappy and weak. But he might not be able to talk, I don't know. But yeah, eventually he'll get that. We're on to low food. I guess everybody's had some food and I'm waiting for either people are coming through and harvesting stuff or animals are getting out here, I'm not sure which. To be fair, it could be, it could be both. Um, I will only know if I go up to my food storage. I don't look like I've got rice.